How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and last night I went to a car meet with Brian and my girl. I didn't really film an intro or an outro. We were working on the Honda all day. The K20 is literally dropping in probably as you're watching this video so that's great. Um, but that video was supposed to go up but we didn't finish which is why we're doing it right now. So we went to a car meet, checked out some clean builds checked out some not so clean builds you guys will be the judge in the comments down below no hey i'm just having fun looking at some different stuff at car meets trying to keep myself entertained and hopefully entertain you guys so don't take anything i say too seriously anyways guys hopefully you guys do enjoy this video let's go take a look at what socal has to offer all right we just pulled in lot is slowly filling up we got some great ass lighting on the supra but we'll walk around in a second as it gets full and we'll see what kind of sweet builds we got. First build is the world's fastest full bolt on the 85 Mustang from No Lift Shift himself right there. Um, he's on slicks because uh, he's making over a thousand wheel. Clearly, why else would you have slicks? And he hooks from it. It's crazy from first gear. So uh, crazy build on this one. I, we would pop the hood, but there's some secret shit going on underneath the hood. So we're going to just save it for another day. It's already looking like it's going to be a very good day looking at some super sick builds. And the EcoBoost? Bro, how does he afford all that? Oh shit, from all the speed, you can see the giant panel gap right there. From all of the mighty 300 horsepower. Oh great, he's parking in front of my shit. Nah, you better not. You better keep on going. His buddy's following him in his shitty ass fender roll. <laughs> the Elantra? <laughs> Sick, bro. Respect all builds. Like he lost his stripes. Yeah, fucking 5 0. Lost his stripes. He got the drag pack. He's going too fast. Stripes flew off. Oh, damn. Crazy. Or maybe the V6 Camaro blew his doors off, man. I, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean. When you lose the race to the V6, you got to take off the racing stripes. Lifted GS coming in straight from off-roading. That one sounded like an actual SS. Bone stock. I like the, the, the Mach 1 is sick. I love that color too. Oh, he's giving a little rev for us too. Uh, you guys probably can't hear it that good because the mic is facing us. But uh, what do you guys think about this as well? We got the uh, GT350 with the reflective snake and the Ford Performance. I mean, I don't mind it. Just, well, I think, you know, I think Hellcats made it kind of normal to have, like, giant emblems on the side. I guess. So. I, guess. I mean, would I do it to my car? Probably not like that. Oh, wow. Look at, oh, it probably has a camera. Yeah, it definitely has a big, big ass screen. Eight inch screen. Yeah. Eight inches? You measure it yourself? Mine's a four. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow Road Squad pulling in. Look at that shit. It's getting good. I can't even hear it honestly which is probably a, a good it thing it has an exhaust we got the carnage is it a it's not a 5-0 just based on the brakes alone i could tell i haven't seen that movie is it good venom 2 it is all right i'll go watch it tonight i gotta see if carnage is the shit uh yeah that's a lot of red though on an eco boost i don't know about all that ski box on the bmw and then another rainbow road car pulling in there's a camry right Yep. Big boy. Oh, who on the air suspension with the exposed neon. Dude, we don't even have to walk. We could just talk all day right here. Like straight up. This is the greatest meet ever. We're like in the middle. That's not bad. Little G37 sedan, not bad. What is this? A fucking old Audi A4? I hear a ticking up front too. That thing's about to blow up. Yeah, we got the Civic Coupe over there. Don't look half bad. We'll go check that out when they all park. Oh, the CRV though. Okay, okay. Let's check it out. We got the green underglow. We got the wheels with the rubber band tires. Homeboys had the car since he bought it off the lot back in high school. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just gotta rock the the CRV. You know, when you when you have kids, Brian, we don't pull out. You gotta do what you gotta do. You know, gotta pull up to the soccer games and and, and practice. Slam that bitch too. All right, looking 370Z. We got some carbon on the front end, still on stock wheels. I think, or are they Nismo wheels? I think they're Nismo wheels, which is fine. Is it a Nismo? He has Nismo badges, but it didn't look like a Nismo bumper. Unless I'm tripping, I might be thinking of the 350s. Whatever. We got a Civic here. Oh, buddy, it's a parking lot. Chill out. We got a Civic here on wheels. Build complete. Don't need anything more than that. The drop top. Oh shit! Oh, the the cuz are pulling, dude. How do you see out of that window? The banner is taking up the whole fucking windshield. What does it say? Truck legends. God, if these kids will move out of my way. Stop watching. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. How do you even see? How do you see out of it? Can you not, racing stripe guy? Dude, how do you see out of that shit? Hey, how many times you got to tell everybody that you got a, a legendary truck? A little bit too much. Kind of a big truck too. Maybe compensating for something. 
What do you think? <laughs> He's definitely compensated. You heard it here first, folks. Damn, look at that red Ford badge, too. You guys can barely see it, but it's glowing. Shit's angry. We got another truck legend pulling through, but this one's on welds, so maybe he do be a bit legendary. Trucks on welds looks kind of funky because the tires are so small. Like, I get it, but it's small. Like, that looks like it's missing a hell of a lot of rubber. But fuck it. I mean, if it's functional, it's functional. I wonder what he's got done to it. What do you think? Cold air intake and an exhaust? <laughs> All right, Brian, you used to own one. You got to tell me what he's got done to it. All right. Okay. But yeah, we're missing the intercooler up top, so now his vent is just blowing right onto his pipes. So, yeah, he's got a front mount, which is down there. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, flex fuel kit, you can spot that. Okay, is this aftermarket piping and shit, or is it stock? Is that no, stock? that's aftermarket. Uh, that comes with the front mount intercooler. Okay, I see. So it's a full kit. Yeah, it looks like he's got the intake to go with it. So how much power do you think it's making? 280. <laughs> <laughs> you really or no? It's got to be making like mid threes or maybe four? No? Stock turbo. Stock turbo? Oh no. Well, I mean, it looks like it's a build in progress. He's got shit going, so interesting setup. Brian, I think I found our, our new work truck. Although I don't think I'll fucking fit in there. That thing is tiny. Dude, there's no way. With an erection, I can't even steer. No way it's happening. Not a chance. <laughs> Looking at the the bed size, I mean, you can fit a couple two by fours in there. Oh, he's got some titanium tips. Sweet, he's got the bed liner. It would be sweet if I was like four feet tall, but yeah, I, I don't see myself fitting in there at all. Is that the battery? No. Oh, okay. I thought the battery was right there. I was like, dude, someone's gonna cop that shit. This thing's cool, but that is the battery. it is the battery. I told you. Yeah, it's just uh, it's really fucking small. We got a slam to GS, dude. This thing is fucking low. Oh my god. Oh, he's scraping something. Dude, they're both low. Slamming the economy cars like that. They're destroying them, Brian. Oh, oh, the Camaro. We got the classic. Why'd he rev, though? Old geezer forgot where the brake pedal was. Okay, that shit's... Oh, is that the one? Is that the LS one? From Rob's shop? Oh, I think it is. Oh, okay. So we know that one's LS swapped. There's the Eco Snake, the loudest fucking four cylinder you over here. A GT500, wrapped gold. It's the legendary edition. Damn, it sounds camped. Unless it's got a ghost cam, which isn't hard to do. Blue Mustang, whatever. No offense. And then a new, a new 5.0. It's got nowhere to go. He's just riding that Explorer's ass. All right, we got a hood popped. We got a right hand drive S13. All right, I see turbos. I see them. I see headers. Okay. Is it stock turbo? No. Oh, where's the turbo? I can't even see it. I'm blind. He did a turbo delete. He did? No. <laughs> I can't see the turbo. Oh, it's way down there. Okay. You can see it from this angle. Barely. Way down there. But, oh, dude, his headers are fucking gorgeous. I love the headers. How they're like all blue and shit. Yeah, mine are all ugly. But mine are also ceramic coated. His interior's got bride seats clean right hand drive quick detached steering wheel I mean, it's, a, it's a clean car there, there's not really any complaint i have on this one he doesn't have crazy camera he didn't fucking butcher it that's a clean car hey brian you think he broke it swinging it or what dude it's rear wheel drive obviously a rear wheel drive conversion oh let's hear it sick, sick. hey it sounds better than my honda right now reverse entry that's why <laughs> <laughs> Now, see, this is what I look for in a clean build. Sick, functional tow hook, stock wheels. Why change it? If Honda put it on the car, leave it because Honda knows best. I mean, they beat Lamborghinis. Um, and nothing done to the rear. So, build list includes a fucking ring up front. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I forgot about the plastic dip badges. Okay, sweet. So, yeah, no, his build is complete. Sweet. Let's see if he hits it. Let's see. Damn, he's smacking that shit on the floor. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. It died. It stalled out. He smacked it so hard. <laughs> oh. I can't even disrespect these wheels on the McLaren. 
that might be a game changer. Break the internet for sure. I usually don't like designs on, on cars and wraps, but that's pretty sleek. If you are gonna do some weird geo-shaped shit and it like is seamless or sleek and you can't really tell, I kind of think that's a win. Unless you really want people to look at your car all the time. I think that works. I saw this one while I was walking around. He hadn't parked yet, but obviously boosted. I heard it. I don't know if it's a centrifugal. It sort of sounded like it or turbo. But, I mean, Toyota, come on, take some notes. Just fucking add some power from factory. People are doing it anyways. If you're not adding power to these things, I mean, you either don't care about it or you're probably a stance boy. But uh, this one, besides the painter's tape blue wrap, I, it's probably a really fun car to drive. Now, see, this is what I come to the, to the meets for. Look, look at this bad boy right here, okay? Check it out. We got the JNCs, okay? No hate, no hate. We got the fake carbon louvers. We got the NRG wing, though. He do got carbon on it, okay? Kia's got some carbon. It's just got some fake carbon, too. Um, the exhaust actually looks legit. I actually, I actually fuck with the exhaust. But uh, if it was my car, personally, I'd probably lose these, but it's not my car. So who cares what I think, right guys? It doesn't matter what I think. And I'd probably lose the JNCs too. Uh, step it up a little bit, but I like the, the, the wrap color. You're not done yet, but I like it. And just get rid of those. It's heat. I mean, they're, they're, look at it. The XXRs, the Tribal, the Dragon, the blue anti-curb rash on the wrong side. Um, he had a little bit of a mishap, but he's he's working on it. The double decker, though, straight fire. Support our police. That's a good sticker right there. And we got the vortex generators, dude. Fire build, fire. Now, before you guys hate and say that I only show shitty cars and I'm just negative, I mean there are decent cars. This Subaru right here ain't half bad. I do like it. Its front end looks pretty low key. The white wheels is a nice little touch to contrast the silver. The wing is a bit tall, but he also paint matched these to match the wheels. So it's a little bit of a detail. If you like it, let me know down below. There are decent cars here. It's just, it's more fun looking at the piles of trash. This one is decent though. His fitment is on point. The wing looks functional. So it looks like a nice little rally build. You take this through a canyon and I'm sure it would be a blast to drive. Even though it's not my personal preference with the color combos i could just tell it would be a blast to drive i see the eclipse and i gotta pass it up because i want to look at what's underneath the hood on this yellow accents all over twin power turbo we have the ski box the carbon fiber caps stock wheels though interesting choice uh, carbon fiber lip hoonigan license plate it looks like if this thing had some wheels it would probably complete the look uh, I don't know if he's gonna add yellow anywhere else, but I don't know where else he really could. Can't have yellow taillights. All right, we're gonna do rapid fire rate from zero out of 10 on the lineup. I'll give this stance build, ooh, missing some stuff here and there. I'll give it a seven and a half. This one looks complete, clean headlights, stock wheels, but they fit the look. A little bit of a tuck. I'll give that one a solid eight. That one is an eight. This one, okay, aftermarket wheels, crazy camber in the rear, clean headlights as well. Nothing really goofy besides like obviously the whole camber build style, but whatever. I'm gonna rate it based on it being a stance car. You know, this one's actually a pretty clean little like VIP car. I'll, I'll give this one an eight and a half. This one, this one is like just the right amount in my opinion. Paint color looks luxurious. The wheels aren't too crazy in your face. No crazy camber. I mean, a little bit, but tasteful. All right, I gotta start checking, okay? There's a lot of people repping slicks out here. I see the slicks. It's the triple five R2. I was looking at it again, that's higher on the Supra. Do we got an intercooler? I can't see one. Ugh. Boosted? Not yet. How's it going, man? So sorry, no, I was just checking out. I saw the slicks and I was like, I was looking for an intercooler or something, you know? Just checking it out. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that. SoCal has a lot of interesting builds and uh, a lot of good ones, a lot of uh, entertaining ones, if I do say so myself. Let me know which one was your favorite. And like I said before, the K20 is being put in as we speak. So if you want to see that, hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you can watch it right when it launches. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy your day. Subscribe. Until next video, peace.